What an unbelievable Grand Prix! Incredible from the Red Bull Rookies Cup champion. Lights out, good start from Rodrigo. The Grassini rider is P1 into turn one. Excellent start by Binder as well. Here are the uh, Magnificent Seven then charging from the pit lane start. Pedro Acosta over the line, 7.2 seconds behind Izdihar, 9.8 off your race leader, so there's still an awful lot of work to do. And there's Acosta, now about to jump all over the rear tyre of Max Koffler, who's in 19th place. Lorenzo Fallon has got to take a long lap penalty. He's exceeded track limits too many times. Garcia, they're lunging! Oh, it's all contact! First faller of the day we have, and it's Artigas. Wow. Oh, that was aggressive, wasn't it? Kaito Toba, it is, that leads here with six laps to go. There is Petra Acosta in 13th place. Yeah, and the likes, I was just about to say, Steve, the likes of Garcia and Acosta, they're now in the point scoring places. And the podium, well, that's not a fantasy now, is it, for the guys that started from the pit lane, or some of them. Through his veins, but I'm afraid to say, one of our coolest customers in Moto3, John McPhee, has lost his head there. Bizarrely, I, I, I don't actually think it was Alcoba's fault. I think Alcoba just clipped the rear tyre bit that sent him airwards and there was nowhere for McPhee to go. Acosta is ahead of his teammate Jamer Ma Jama Masia. That is wow. incredible. He started from pit lane. How much more drama and tension can you cram into a 18 lap Moto3 Grand Prix? Where do you start? Absolutely right. Now let's just try and focus on this somehow. Into turn one we go with three laps remaining. Masia again now leads. Well, he was the master tactician here seven days ago, wasn't he, Masia? As he got to the front now, I'm going to try and pull the pin, just thinking, I need to get out of here. I don't want all this trouble and chaos and carnage that's unfolding around him. My rate, heart rate's gone up to over 200 beats per minute. What about these guys on these Moto3 motorcycles? Unbelievable action here. Two laps to go. Massia leads, but for how long? Through goes Gabriel Rodrigo. He now takes the lead of the race up the inside. Oh. Look at Acosta. He's up into the podium places, although squeezing him out is Dara oh. Binder. Acosta's front tyre there just about hung in there. It was absolutely screaming for mercy. It was unsettled on the brakes. He still committed, still through that KTM on its side, and he still came out the other side. Brilliant by the rookie. And here is Pedro Acosta, who we remind you started this race wow. from pit lane. I think the boy's got there some he talent, is. and he's through on Binder. Through on Binder, Acosta up into third place. Incredible from the Red Bull Rookies Cup champion. That was through into turn 10. You have to pinch yourself and remind yourself, he started from pit lane. He, he might win it, Matt. He could win it. Rebel Katie Maiho had some heroics from the back of the grid with Dar Brad Binder, didn't they, in Harath 2016. This would eclipse that. Oh, look at that, up the inside. He doesn't, he's not scared of his own teammate. This would eclipse Binder's ride from the yep. back of the pack, yep, from absolutely. the back of the grid in Harath 2016. Pedro Acosta, he started from pit lane. He's about to lead the Doha Grand Prix with one lap to go. Astonishing here in the Middle East. He does lead. Nakio Antonelli is also there as well, number 23, as they now head into turn one. It's Acosta who leads still, and he's got the hammer down. He's already trying to put a bit of daylight between himself and Darren Binder. Pedro Acosta in just his second World Championship start, starting from the pit lane, on course for an astonishing oh, victory. Man. One of the greatest Grand Prix victories in history. Here we go then, out to the final corner. Will Darren Binder break his heart? Oh, this is going to be close. He's in the slipstream. History has been... Acosta's got it! He's got it! Unbelievable! Binder's no, no, charging! No. Wow! Pedro Just. Acosta! Oh. Oh, how has he done it? Binder! Oh. From pit lane! Binder needed five more metres and the race was his. Pedro Acosta! What an unbelievable Grand Prix! We said he was a sensation last weekend on his debut on the podium. Sensation does not even come close to describing Pedro Acosta. He has won a truly remarkable Tiso Grand Prix of Doha by three hundredths of a second. He started from pit lane.